Uh, I just saw Babylon. Directed by Damien uh, Chiz... Uh, directed Whiplash, my favorite movie of 2014. One of my favorite movies of fucking ever. I love that fucking movie. Anyways, Babylon. Three hour epic movie about movies. Uh, and the movie starts out so well. The first hour to hour and a half, I was blown away by how well paced it was. Massive props to the entire team filming this because you're working with literally hundreds of extras, camera work, and I was blown away by just how captivated and hooked in I was. Props. All the acting was solid as Fuck. Brad Pitt, ah, oh, God. <laughs> so He's a good. charmer. Margot Robbie like stole this movie. She was so good. Everyone knows they're in a movie that actually cares about being a good movie and they're all putting on their fucking egg game and it was great to see that. There's technically four story arcs in this movie. You got Brad Pitt, you got Diego, you got Margot, and then you got this musician man. And they all kind of grow and have their own little things. You know, there's bumps in the movie, but after the whole three hours you spent in this movie, like, man, I just saw a lot of shit from a director that's pushing himself. I'd love to see it, baby. I'd love to see it. This movie barely had any CGI. Again, it just goes back to the mad props. I was surprised by how raunchy this movie is. The amount of nudity, blood, deaths, women pissing on dudes. Like, the movie wasn't shy, like, again, showing Hollywood at its finest and weakest. It's insane all the different genres this movie plays with. Having a great time in this scene, they see a dude eat a rat. It's all over the place, but it meshes so well. The movie spans, like, three decades. Some of the best parts of the movie was watching the characters dealing with that. Going from silent film so like having to read dialogue for the first time like all that shit was super interesting There's an amazing scene in the movie where it just replays the same scene for like 20 minutes and it's fucking captivating It's so funny and it works. You're like you're sitting there like I'm literally just watching the same thing over and over again But the way it inches in its intensity all the time is just so fucking good Can't get over the set pieces man The whole crusader fight thing was just insane to watch I can't believe they even pulled that off and I just know that there's like directors and producers out there be like no, We can't do that. It's way too much work. Are you kidding me? You know what we have what we would have to go through to make a motion picture like that. But this movie isn't perfect, you know? There's things that could have been improved on like any fucking thing ever made. The ending was close to being fine, but then it did this stupid montage thing. Damien just like wasn't sure if like the audience would get his intention, so he literally made a montage to explain to the stupid side of the audience what he was trying to say. It just went on for way too long. It completely killed the ending for the most part, and uh, it mm. sucked. I think it legitimately just sucked. It did. There's stuff in the final act too where it's almost like it's rushing itself at the end to like get the characters to act a certain way to do these moments. The, the overall message Damien was doing and how the characters concluded was pretty solid for the most part. It's just the execution of it that kind of sucked. And then also throw in there for me, just some editing throughout the movie. Like I guarantee there's 15 minutes of fat here that could be taken away to bring this to a nice like 245 tight movie with a much tighter ending. Do wish there was a bit more of a score here. It's a time piece, so you want to have music from the time being played on screen. That's awesome. I love it, but never underestimate just a solid droning sound. Tobey Maguire shout out. It was cool to see Toby get on the big screen, even though it was for just maybe 10 minutes. Kind of unfortunate yeah. for Toby's sake, because his scene happens after the movie's already starting to drag its feet a little bit. But it's also a good thing because you feel that drag and like, ah, Toby's coming. So many scenes in this movie that are just chock full of tension. And that's part of why a lot of this movie progressed so well. It's offering not just visuals of all the shit going on, but a tension within it. Even if it's just a director trying to get the shot before the light runs out, you feel it. Even the side so characters good. were like funny and memorable. Rare to see in movies nowadays because they just want to focus on the star power. This is the kind of movie that makes you wake up and pissed off and realize just how absolute garbage Hollywood is today. This movie is not going to receive the accolades that it should. It's not going to receive the attention and just admiration that it should. Scorsese himself should be looking at this movie and be like, fuck, I got to step my game up. That's how I do a three hour movie. Ah, wow. Shit. Clearly so much thought that went into every single scene, every single shot. Nothing was more important than the other. This was such a refreshing movie to see. Jesus. Uh -huh. And action. You know, a lot of people say here at Frame Rate that we hate on movies just to hate on them, and that is so far from the truth. I'm gonna give this movie an eight out of 10. I really dug it. Some editing things, maybe a little bit of a score, but fuck me, it got me hook, line, and sphincter right away. All the props in the world to the entire crew behind this production, and the fact that they did it for many, many, many millions less than your average garbage fest CGI dumpster fire of a movie gets uh, these days. I'm gonna give it an eight 
8.5 out of 10. This was a great movie and it could have been amazing. What a perfect movie to watch after a movie like Avatar. All the points I made in, in the Avatar review, this movie is the, the perfect analogy to Avatar where it's like, dude, I'd rather watch the Crusaders fight on a field than watch a giant CGI wave, you know? Like this movie was so much more captivating, so much more impressive to me to, as a viewer than a movie like Avatar could ever be. And you have Toby, that's, that's an extra <laughs> point five for me. Like, you, you bring Toby back? Yeah, definitely go see it. You have one. to go see, go see it in theaters, be fully submerged. Yeah. Fuck Avatar, give this movie your money. There's no way you can't be impressed by honestly what this movie tries to do. All right, well, that's it. Go watch the movie. Uh, enjoy your Crimbus or Hanukkah or whatever the fuck you are. Happy holidays. Love you. Bye. Bye. Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee. Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a star. I just know it. Okay, I'm a fucking okay, star. How should I look at you? I need to. Need just like Brad Pitt. As long as there's no line of Mickey D's, I'm getting a fucking burger. That doesn't make any sense financially.